And so what, what precedes this? They're getting like close-ups on him and then he's like, okay, this is the second. Whether you're going to be in textiles or in film or in animation or in illustration, any of those disciplines require the aesthetics and the understanding of composition and value and structure and pattern and design that a class like this has the scope and the ability to, to go in depth. I try to give students opportunities to create portfolio pieces by giving them certain assignments, classic assignments like a portrait, figure drawing, room interior, landscape. I'm making a lot of pieces for my portfolio. The community here has really encouraged me to step out of my comfort zone and to make great things. And um, I've been so inspired just being around people here. For one of the recent drawing assignments, the teacher took all the drawings home, she photocopied them all, and she went onto them and shaded in the areas that she thought could use improvement. Just the fact that she was dedicated enough to put that time into it was really incredible to see. Using these skills that we learn in drawing from observation, which includes working outside like we are today, it is really key to improving. Amy was like, nope, you're using these. The reason why art history is important for the pre-college students is because the theory is as important as the practice. They need to learn that they're creating artwork in a context and after thousands of years of other art. So they need to see how their artwork is going to interact with that history. We analyzed a lot of art pieces, a lot of uh, paintings, monuments, sculptures, etc. I have a industrial design major in my room and a fashion design major, and I'm fashion design as well. We definitely find common threads in uh, the art and creativity. It's interesting coming to a place where everyone's like you. Everyone knows the feeling of loving what they're doing, even though everyone does something different. You are on your way to being an art student, to being an artist. Yeah, we, want it, we want it to fluctuate. We want areas where it's bigger, and more looser, we want areas where it's really compact and tight. So I'll focus. A lot of students come in not really expecting there to be as much exploring in their foundation classes. They might be a graphic design major, but when they come to my class, they realize, I really like painting, or I've never thought this way before. I think before the pre-college program, I was kind of a slacker. So I think it pushed me to really, if I wanted it to be to my standards, I had to push extra instead of just saying like, oh, I did it. As you can see on the walls around the room, we've just completed all of their more regimented exercises, and they're now starting to work on their artist books. The RISD pre-college program really gives the students an opportunity to experience what a freshman foundation art school experience is like. You get complete freedom in choosing what you want to do. I'm really glad that each class like gives you more than you think it will. Even my major painting, like we learn all about chemicals and uh, processes, and I I love that stuff. I think when I go home, I'll be like way more confident, and I feel like maybe I'll be myself more when I go home. The campus is really big, and it's great because you get access to almost all of the things that normal RISD students get access to during the year. There's a tremendous facility. The entirety of RISD's campus is available to the students, um, and they take full advantage of it. I mean, every drawing foundations class takes their students down to the nature lab or to the library to research. It's an artist community. Um, the energy is high level. It's very exciting. It's intense, but highly creative and open. Open to different types of approaches, open to different types of people. Um, so a student who may not fit in in their high school because they're so creative and maybe out there is going to really find a home here at RISD.